Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, it, it is what it is. At the, at, at the end of the day, dog. At the end of the day, I'm see me. I'm in the bottom line business. I'm in the bottom line business. Bottom line is this is this is a general once in a generation fight for us. We don't get that fight. Um, we don't get that fight. It is what it is. I'm, I'm I'm putting it all. I'm putting it all on Wakanda. That's what I'm putting it on because Wakanda. Y'all said that Bob Aram was in the way. Was Bob Aram out the way and he crossed the street? It, it was gonna get done in five minutes. And guess what? That's what y'all said. And it, 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 it ain't turning out like that. So it's it's on it's on Wakanda as far as I'm concerned. Because I, I know what these Wakandas gonna say. Wakandas are pro P, the pro PBC guys. You pro PBC guys? I call you Wakandas. You said that. Bob Aaron was blocking the fight. You said that Terrence Crawford was on the wrong side of the street. You said that Terrence Crawford never should have resigned with top rank. You said that uh, he's with ESPN, Spence is with Fox Showtime. You said that once he leaves top rank and come to the PBC, the fight will be made like that. He's not with Bob Arum anymore. Bob ain't blocking the fight. He's not with ESPN anymore. Have no network problems. Um, he's uh, not with top rank, the role promotion of the company. Not on the wrong side of the street anymore. And he's a free agent and he left top rank. This, this, is what the, all, this is all the stuff you pro PBC Wakanda guy said. Guess what? Still ain't got no fight. True, true, true. Next thing you know, soon as the man become a free agent, oh man, you know, he just he just hasn't been built up into a star. Um, you know, he doesn't sell. Oh, you know, he's gonna have to be realistic. You know, we used to pay our fighters $1.5 or $2 million guarantee. Um, you know, he's we don't want to insult a guy like that. As soon as he become a free agent, come knocking on your front door, y'all start niggas explaining, bug dancing, chicken Georgian, uh, doing the backstroke, doing the funky chicken chicken, the penguin, the boogaloo. You start doing all this other stuff except making this fight happen. True, true, true. And when I throw it up in your face, I got to be all kind of coons all the time, sellouts, you hate all that stuff. There. No, no, I'm throwing it back at you because I tell you Wakandas, I said if you did not have a double standard, you would not have a standard at all. Boy. I don't have a posse. I don't have a posse. I don't have a click. I don't have a crew on YouTube. Guess what? But I am more than sufficient. I'm more than sufficient. My little small YouTube channel is more than sufficient. So it, it is what it is. It is what it is. At the end of the day, dog, this is what they said. I'm not going to let them, I'm not going to let them, uh, uh, I'm not going to let them get away with that. Every chance I get, I'm going to throw this in your faces because you were condos, pro PBC, you fake militant, fake from the conscious community, guys. This is what you guys been saying for years before I even came on the internet. And since I've been on the internet for the 18, 19 months I've been on the internet, this is what you guys have been saying. Come to find out, it is not true. True, true, true. You lied. You lied. I don't know how much you're getting from the PBC, if any. I don't know what kind of benefits you're getting. Guess what? We still ain't got no fight. We still ain't got no fight. I'm not going to let you forget what you said. I'm going to continue to throw that in your face. That's the one thing I am going to continue to do. I'm going to throw that in your face every goddamn day of the week. You guys are so low IQ. When I say you guys, I'm not talking about the people in the chat. I'm talking about the Wakandas. You lack critical thinking skills, and you, and, and, and you don't know how to be even. You so biased, and that's fine. You can be biased. No, nothing wrong with that. That's what you want to do, so be it. I get it, but I call it the way I see it. I call it the way I see it. Fact of the matter is we have no fight. And there's nothing that no one can tell me. Whether it's another YouTube channel, whether it's Rick Glazier, Steve Kill, it doesn't know, there's nothing no one can tell me. As far as I'm concerned, that, 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 um, uh, Steven Espinosa, that, uh, 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 the Steven Espinosa, because Steven Espinosa, the Showtime and PBC, they like one, one, big, one, one Big Happy Family. They like One Big Happy Family, right? Listen, all that shit there was just smoking mirrors. Smoking mirrors, that's what it is. The only fighter they have big money for 
And neither one of these fighters is asking for Canelo Alvarez type money because ain't neither one of them, ain't neither one of them dudes is nowhere near on the, on the level of Canelo. So we gonna excuse Canelo. You can't even pay marginal money. You can't even pay nigger rich money. Minus the crossover bucks. We talking about nigger rich. You can't even pay. You you can't even pay top nigger rich money. You can't even satisfy the dudes who arguing online at the local uh, at the local corner store, the liquor store. You can't even satisfy the chitlin circuit. You can't even satisfy the two figure niggas. You ain't got the money to do that. So don't tell me about this is the place to be. Don't tell me about if Bob Arum is out the way, he leave, he, he leave, he leave his promotional company. He, he's on the wrong side of the street. Once he come over here, it's gonna be done. Don't tell me about that, because we seeing some, we seeing for we seeing it for what it is. We got the we got the lion weasel, Steven Espinosa. Yeah, I said it. Care nothing about the interview. The hell with you. Um, they got the lion weasel lying. We got a CEO of, of a company. Don't nobody know what he look like. He don't nobody don't know. He don't do no interviews. You don't see his face. We don't even know if he dead or alive. And then we have the Wakandas, the mouthpieces. Chitlin juice running all down their neck. Hog head cheese sandwiches all in their back pocket. That's that's what I see. If you ain't giving me the fights I want, I don't give a damn about I don't give a damn about you. I don't care who the promoter is. I don't care if it's Bob Arum. I don't care if it's Eddie Hearn. I don't care if it's Frank Warren. I don't care if it's uh the PBC. I don't care if it's, it's Stephen Espinosa. Showtime. Don't make me know. Never mind. If I can't get the fights that I want, if you if if, if I if I see if I see an advisory company, if I see representatives from advisory companies talking duck language, if I see networks that's associated with an advisory company talking duck language guess what i'm a, i'm a, i got a right i reserve the right to talk my shit and say what the hell i'm gonna say i care nothing about your feelings get off your playstation get off your ps5 stop selling nick sacks okay get off your ps5 stop selling nick sacks stop threatening people on youtube stop sending digital bullets at people and stop pushing wakanda wakanda is dead wakanda is dead black panther is dead it's time for Killmonger, okay? This false fake narrative that you guys been pushing for years, it's over. I, I killed that by myself. I killed it by myself. I destroyed Wakanda by myself. I did this, okay? Man, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go.